Hello everyone and welcome to the Crafty Ninja channel. I start by taking a 16 ounce plump from Steel Magnolia and I wrap some ultralight clay around the top and bottom to create kind of a snowman shape to give it a head and body shape. I find that clay has a little bit more problem sticking to my ultralight so I put a liquid sculpey on my cup just to give it a little bit of something for my uh, super sculpey to hold on to. Then I roll out some clay sheets with my pasta machine and I wrap the entire cup in clay. For the face we're going to create kind of a duckbill shape and we're going to place it right at the base of his head and then we are going to blend it in. I like to give it a little bit of a curve right at the end of the nose. Next we are going to take some oval shaped pieces of clay for the eyes and place them right at the sides of our bill. Now for the mouth we are going to take a needle point tool and we are just going to kind of draw a line right around the bill to create the shape of his mouth. Then I take my silicone tip tool and I create the nostrils. Here I'm just drawing a line around his face to show where his fur line is going to stop. Now we do the fur. This is a repeated technique of taking a silicone tip tool and just placing markings all around the cup where you want his fur to go.
I took a little bit of extra clay and I placed it right around his cheeks just to give it a little bit more character to his face. For the legs, we just take kind of a semi-circle shaped piece of clay and we place it right at the base of our cup and we just blend it in and texture it like we do with the fur of the rest of the body. For the feet, I just take an oval shaped piece of clay and I just cut about five toes out and then I shape them to look like long toes. Then I take a little liquid scopey and I place it to the back of the foot and then I place it onto his leg and blend it in. Then I just repeat on the other side. For the arms, I take a long rope of clay and I flatten one side out for the hand and I repeat the same process that I did for his feet to create his hands and just shape the fingers.
Then I place it right above where his leg is and then I blend it into his body. And then we add the fur texture. Then I repeat the same process for the other arm. Originally for the coin, I made this fancy coin that I will not be showing you how to make, but if you would like, I can make you a mold of it. But here is a simple tutorial on how to make a simple coin, and we are just going to start out with a circle. And I'm just going to take a spoon-shaped tool, but you can use whatever tool you've got to create the rim of the coin. Just that little raised area right at the edge of your coin and you're going to go all the way around the entire coin. And then I just smooth it out a little bit. Once you are happy with your coin you are going to place it right in his hands. Um, and if you're having trouble getting it to blend in, you can add a little liquid Sculpey to the fingers to help it attempt. The thing that we are going to do is we are going to add a tail and you're just going to take a kind of a cone shaped piece of clay, place it at the bottom of your cup in the back, blend it in, and then add some fur texture. Now it is time to paint and we are going to paint every area that is not his feet, hands, or face, or his coin, and black. And I use the folk art matte black and I just cover the entire cup in this color.
for his hands, feet, and face, I used a color I think is called Trail Tan by Serum Coat, and I just paint all of his feet and all of his hands and face in this color. Next, I paint his eyes with the same color of black. For the coin, I used a liquid leaf metallic gold paint and I placed it all around the coin in the back as well. And then I finish it off with using my dotting tool to create the little whites on his eyes. And here is our finished Niffler. As always, if you are doing this on a tumbler, remember to seal with an FDA compliant epoxy or an epoxy alternative like Crystalac. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. If you did, like and subscribe to my channel for more of my 3D designs. Have a great day and remember to stay crafty.